welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about skincare and simple things, 10 simple things you can do to improve your skin and to make your skin feel happier and healthier. These tips are based off of my own experience and what I do to make my skin feel better and to look nicer and to feel softer and whatever. So I can't say it's going to work for everybody, but it works for me, so I wanted to just share it because they're very simple and you can just incorporate it into your skincare routine or just start doing it if you're not doing it and then see if it helps. I felt like it was fitting for this video so I didn't put any face makeup on like I just I mean as put aside from like mascara a little bit and some brows. Wow and guys I also just woke up like I'm not joking I haven't had coffee I haven't eaten breakfast nothing I literally just woke up and I was like before I do anything to my face let's talk about skin. I have no makeup on and I'm not saying my skin is amazing but I've come a long way, honestly. If I can find a picture, I'll, I'll put it up there too, of like a before, but I don't know. I didn't take a lot of pictures of me without any makeup on. But now my face is a lot happier and I can go outside and like just go about my day without putting on any face makeup at all. Like not concealer, not foundation, nothing, no powder. Like I have nothing literally on my face. And it's not like, what? But it's like, it's not terrible and it feels soft and I don't feel like I have to hide. You wanna see? I gotta work on these bags. And I was also at the beach yesterday, so I got a little bit of pinkness happening. But let's get into this and like, I need to stop blabbering, okay. So we're just gonna like rapid fire this. 10 simple things you can do to make your skin happier and healthier. One, wash your face. Wash your face at the end of the day. Do not sleep in your makeup. Do not sleep in your makeup. Wash it off and wash your face. I cannot stress that more than like just that alone. It is so not nice to your face to sleep with like a full face of makeup or just like any makeup on. Honestly, take off everything. Okay, cool. next thing, exfoliate your face. Exfoliate, like do it as much as you need to. I don't think there's a set number for every single person because every single person has different skin, but just do whatever works for you. You'll know if you're exfoliating enough because your skin will feel that happy. If you're doing it too much, it'll feel irritated. And if you're doing it not enough, it'll not be, it'll be like dry and rough. For me, I just do it like once a week and that's fine. That's all I need. But I wash my face daily also. So, exfoliate. Moisturize your face. Moisturize daily. I moisturize my face literally at least twice a day. I think just twice a day, actually. Like, mm, at least twice a day. When I wake up, I wash my face and I moisturize. When I go to sleep, I wash off all my makeup and wash my face and I moisturize. So it's very important. Another thing, when you are moisturizing your face, it is important to move in upward motions. And be very gentle on your face so you're not pulling and stretching your skin. But it's important to do upward motions, I think for obvious reasons, though you won't necessarily think about this until you think about it and be like, oh, that's a good point, because I used to just do whatever. And But if you are doing like under your eyes, for example, and you're moisturizing and you're like pulling your face down, see how over time your face might not like that and you'd be stretching your skin. So that's why if you're gonna moisturize, like upward motion, upward and gentle, upward and gentle. We're all guilty of this, ladies. I know it, I know it, don't worry. But, clean your makeup brushes. Clean your makeup brushes. Speaking of which, I need to go and clean my makeup brushes. It's really important to clean your makeup brushes. If you just keep using them again and again, you're going to collect bacteria and other little particles or oils or whatever is gonna just like build up and you're just gonna keep taking that brush and then putting it back on your face with new product and then putting that also, it's just, it could just, it's just not healthy not good it's very good to have nice fresh clean brushes whenever you're gonna apply them to your face so clean your brushes okay minimalize um I lost track of which number I think it's number four number four minimalize your chemical exposure whatever that might be whatever it is that you do or if you are surrounded by chemicals things that are not natural that are toxic like that could be damaging to your skin try not to do that or to protect your face and another just like kind of incorporated into this tip is if you are using lotions or moisturizers with your face that have a fragrance in them, um, this is me personally, I don't like to put any moisturizer on my face that has a fragrance. I find that in the past when I've done that, it has just been irritated. Fragrance is a little bit like a wild card for packaging because honestly, you don't know what is in that 
ingredient that makes that exact fragrance. So, but the only thing you'll see on the packaging would say fragrance, and then you know that it smells like something. Face specifically is very delicate, and if you're gonna be putting things on your face, I try to just stay away from fragranced lotions because it's like absorbing into your face. Another thing you can do is you can check out a website below. I'm pretty sure it's ewg.com. I can put the I'll put the link in the description. But this website will show you you can actually type in makeup brands and it will show you like the toxicity level of those brands or those products of like beauty products and it will tell you the ingredients and what's in them or what are the dangerous ingredients. So that's actually super helpful and it's very good to kind of cross check something or if you notice that something irritates you, you could just check it out and be like, oh wow, maybe that's why because it's actually it's got a super high level of toxicity. Drink lots of water. This is actually, I feel like something that people need to do more, maybe don't do enough, but I know that when I drink water, my skin gets happier and I feel better, I feel hydrated and my skin clears up. So it's super important to drink water, that's just like one of those things that you're like, I know I should do this, and sometimes you don't, so you have to like remind yourself. But just get into the habit of drinking more water daily. Yeah, that's what I have to say. Okay, okay eat well. This is like also one of those things that people know, but I know this one for one, whenever I would have like a Starbucks Frappuccino, I would break out. Whenever I would eat french fries, I would just, what is going on? Really? I'm sorry about this. I really should have like washed my hair and just done something. I just woke up. Just, just, don't judge me, okay? I just know that when I have eaten things that are like the guilty foods or like super like deep fried oil or like full of sugar, or processed, I know that there's almost like an immediate reaction where like afterwards I'll suddenly have like two or three or like a bunch of pimples that just came out of nowhere. Damn it. Like you learn your skin and your body and what it likes and what it doesn't like. But I definitely, definitely will preach, eat well, eat nutritious, eat your veggies, eat your fibers. What's going on? Eat like Eat, just eat good food that's healthy for you because you will feel better, your skin will feel better, like it just does so many good things for you. So I'm a believer in eating well and nutritious. Oh my gosh, this one is so important. Don't touch your face, like don't, like some people have a habit of just like touching their face and like rubbing their face and picking their face or like whatever goes on, just like face touching. You know, or when you have that like one zit and you're just like. Whatever the habit may be, like control yourself. Keep your hands and fingers away from your face. And you should literally like touch your face with your own hands as like as least as possible. Because you are constantly using your hands and you're touching things and people and doors and objects and handles and whatever you're touching. Excuse me. And you don't know what has been on that. You don't know what bacteria you're picking up. So realize without getting into like gross details, you could touch something, don't know what was on that before, and then be like, wipe your face, and then that's gross. So just saying. This is like my little like tip that I like and that helps me with my face. But get skin. Did I really just say that? Get sun. My skin personally loves the sun. Um, and now don't like take this and be like, this sun is bad for you. Because I'm not saying like fry your skin off and like burn your face and like get super tan that you're like crusty and like gross. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying there's like natural vitamin D's that come from the sun. So you should let your face and your skin soak that up a little bit. Wear protective sunscreen obviously that's like good, the good kind. My hair is so out of control, guys. My next video, I promise you, I'm just gonna like actually take time to like do my hair nicely so that I don't have to constantly complain about it. Okay, but yeah, get some sun. Let it like absorb. This is me personally. My skin clears up. My body feels happy. My skin feels happy. I get more like fresh and glowy looking or feeling uh, when I'm in the sun. And so I just felt like I would include this in here because I felt like it was a useful tip. Okay, so that's a wrap, I think. I hope I didn't miss one. 
or like miscount something and then I'll look like I can't count. But I'm pretty sure that was 10. I was trying to go for 10 helpful tips to make your skin happier and healthier. Hopefully I accomplished that. Um, I hope this was useful for you and you could just take some of these tips and use them and put them to like operation put them into operation that's so like intense and just like start doing them or put them into your own skincare routine and see what happens I am gonna actually try and find a picture of myself without makeup on like it's like a before so you can see kind of like how far I've come because I'm honestly really proud actually like God, stop touching my face I can literally just go out and about and I don't have to put any face makeup product on my face and I feel comfortable and my skin looks like, doesn't look, you know what I mean? I hope that was graphic enough. I hope this was useful. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you've seen my Instagram, you know that like I'm always like dancing to like anything, anywhere. Kind of what I do. Like, like things, like like it, and then comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Interact with me if you want. I can understand if you don't. If you also have anything like you think would be a useful tip for me, how I could even improve my skin or how I could maybe get rid of these, I have some things that I learned that I'm gonna try out um, and see if that works. So then I could let you guys know. But if you have something that you know is like, yes, this works, Tell me, and I'm like super up for trying anything. Okay, I need to stop talking. Sometimes I just keep talking. Let me know, I love feedback. I really love feedback, so let me know what you guys actually think. Actually think, don't lie to me. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. We're done here. Until next time. Thanks for watching my channel.